Yo, welcome back to another episode of Bill Something TV. I think that's what's going on, what's happening. This is a Mustang, you guys already know that. But you see how it's set up just like the Maverick? The same situation. There's a few little things that are different, but it's set up the same way. Then if you go over here to this Granada, see how everything is set up the same way? Same way. And that's what Ford is known for doing and a lot of other platforms are known for doing. They just recycle the whole goddamn thing. So all right, me and my son came here and we got busy. It took a minute, we had to cut this. These got stripped. We had to cut that. I know you guys are like, ah, but we had to do it. And then the, the worst part of all, you see down there, we had to cut that. That is not sitting well with me because that cost a lot of money, a lot of money. And I'm a little bit upset about that. It going to cost me $90. So we came here, I think this is a Comet. And we took the steering box out of that one too. Didn't have the link in the bottom, somebody took that out. They know the importance of it. So we've gotten what we needed we're gonna go pay for it now we're just gonna go and um it's a lot of figuring out what and what and what's the next move but the best thing to do is tackle this bezel because this bezel needs to be done so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a hole and make another gauge pod for this situation right next to the tachometer i'm going to sit there and use the band file get the hole right File down to that line. Nice little circle. This this other one here, you know, it was almost ready for sanding and everything, and then I had a problem with this corner. It started to lift. Again, it's plastic. Um, so I had to go back down and really get this down right. And I have to sit down with this, and really, really sit down with it, and get the contours right. And this is where you start to reflect about all of the stuff that you're doing. You know, while you're sanding, you're thinking about what's the next move, trying to get the contour right, and you're not over sanding because you're hand sanding. And if you do over sand, you just put some daggone spot putty on there and, and keep it moving. It's a good thing to have multiple projects for me. I always explain that. Everybody else is different. There's never a dull moment. While you're sitting there trying to figure out this, you go over here and you get that. And you go over here and you get this, and you go over here and you get that. All the little imperfections, I'm gonna be doing this a few times to get it right because, again, not a body man by no means of the word. Not a true fabricator by any means of the word. I just jump in figure it out and just do it. All this what you see is Sprayway Customs Inspired. That's a, a, a good thing. So we're gonna let this thing sit here and dry for a few hours. You know what I mean? I want this thing to be completely, completely dry. So I'm gonna throw it out there in the sun and, 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 and we're gonna flip flop and do some other things. And right after we got those things cleaned up, we have painted them. Skipped a lot of scenes, man. And I put a couple layers on it already. $3 paint. This thing got multiple uses. Now, here's the thing. It is wet right now. And we're going to put some Rust-Oleum matte finish. Going to get that on there. And it will not uh, chemically uh, change anything and it's on there wet. You can use these two things together and it, it just doesn't do anything. All you're gonna get is a nice, nice finish right over it. 
Now mind you, I didn't even let it dry. I'm just letting you guys see that it doesn't crimp, crinkle up. It doesn't do anything. You can mix the two together, which is great. And this thing is really, it really came out nice. The cheap paint with the good clear worked out nice. So this one here, this came out of the Comet. This one came out of the Maverick box. Now this is SMAF. SMAF is manual. Now this one here came out of the Comet, the blue one that was in the junkyard. This one here is SMAY. Now this is the same type of gearbox that's inside my Maverick that's over here. Same one. So this one it will not do for what I need. Now in that Boss 302 modifications book, chassis modification book to be exact, that one there talked about 16 to 1 ratio on the steering box. This one will not have that. Only ones that will have that is the Mustangs and that sort. So this is going to be regular Schmegler. We must have puttied this thing around yeah, around five times already um, just to get it right. I put a little um, black spray paint on it, a little mist, and then I'm starting to sand it and I'm starting to see lines, lines starting to come up, lines starting to disappear. Even around here, I got to do a little bit more around there before I paint it. Now, over here, it, it came out pretty, pretty good, man. I mean, um, it wasn't even that much money. Like I said, I just had all the stuff already here. And I'm like, all right, man, let's get with it and come up with an idea and just do it. Everything pretty much done, man. I'm, I am very thankful that I got this done finally. There is some imperfections over here and over there. You really can't see it. Um, I didn't see it. And I did this thing around 45 times, but um, we can get that fixed and repaired real quick. All it is is a quick sand. I gotta let it dry completely for at least two days. Go back behind there, scuff it up a little bit, and then use this truck, um, use this um, truck bed liner from a distance. Spray it, let it sit and build up a little bit. It'll hide it, let it dry, boom. Then you hit it with the quick color right here, this little cheap can of black paint. It dries very quickly. And then after that, you hit it with the matty finish, boom, and it's done. It'll be smooth, just like this steering gear here for the Maverick. Hold up, I remixed it a little bit, man. First of all, I went and I did this over yet again, both of them. Then, I used this. This is um, a 98 cents can of cheap paint from the Home Depot, flat black, hit it with the truck bed liner, then with the matty clear, man, it came out pretty daggone good because the other black was just a little bit too shiny even with the matte with even with the matte clear it still wasn't right to me but now if you look at it now it's legit it sits in there pretty well it almost looks near the stock even though our dashes are not black they are like charcoal gray but with my black steering wheel it accents it pretty daggone well and then if you're inside you can see the oil gauge and everything and the gauges are doable you can see it by sight you can sit right in the seat go to the left go to the right you can still see the oil pressure but this gauge got to go we got to get a black one or we got to paint that bezel around there black or something like that and then that one will be legit man so tell me you guys honest opinion on how it looks if it looks ricer tell me it looks ricer and that's cool but i'm going to keep it anyway but I do appreciate your comments and everything and your views. But um, thank you guys for watching this episode of Build Something TV, man. I hope you guys were enlightened. The next couple of videos will be about oil feed, oil pressure gauge, or sender, whatever you want to call it. And then after that, tachometer installed. Because the 2004 and below do not have a tachometer. To my man Budget Panther fan, man, I do enjoy your introduction to your video, man. That was funny as heck. I was sitting there laughing. I must have watched the video around 10 times man i do appreciate the love man those type of things will help us make it you know what i mean you probably don't believe that your channel will do well or our channels will do well it will man persistence we can make it as a small channel see big channels they don't believe in cross promotion and anything because they're greedy they don't see the vision the long-term results of going flipping through channels you see what i'm saying they don't get that they don't understand that they just think that you have to have a million views to be able to do that. You can start with our, because my channels are small, just as small as yours, just because I have bigger numbers, it's a small channel. I get paid exactly how much you get paid. And also too, yes, I feel bad about not getting the Lincoln Town Car, but that's just how life is. You can't have it all. 
You can try, but you can't have it all, even though it's only $400. That ain't no money. But I do need to finish this Maverick. That's what my man Third Gen said. Yo, man, focus on the Maverick, and I hear you, brother. To get this Maverick moving, not even complete, moving with an engine in it, is going to cost me another $1,500 to $2,000. That's the rough estimate. And then with this um, Panther that's outside here, this is gonna cost me $1,500 flat to get this going, depending on how I get it going. Um, maybe around $2,000 too. So, you know, let's say 2,000 for each to get them up and running the way I, way, the way it was intended to go. The $400 wouldn't make or break me because the $400 put it in here, it will still sit here. <laughs> it wouldn't do a damn thing. But I gotta flip that $400 some way in some car parts and everything. I already sold the engines, trans, two engines I sold. So those things are gone, but there'll be another engine coming with a trans. And I'm trying to uh, sell that trans as we speak. And it's, you know, we live in an area where, you know, a lot of people don't have them old F-250s. But when the winter time comes, oh yeah, when they burn out their trans, plowing snow, they'll be calling so check you guys out see you guys man let's check out this this dash this dash look kind of all right man i like it yeah this is this is all right man